Hey, what's up guys? Ziggy here. Jimmy here. We're gonna be hungry, humble, and hardworking. So let's get after it. Have a great day. Good morning guys, it's Monday. Welcome back to a brand new start of our channel. We took a break for a while, but we're back for good. And we're gonna do our best to keep up with daily videos. So we're gonna run the Monday route today, which is just primarily cutting grass. Um, what else, uh, how many lawns are we doing? I think we're doing about 15 or 16 today. We already have a crew that it's outgoing towards another town. We're heading the other way. Um, a crew of two going that way, a crew of two's going this way. And we have, this is just an overflow route. So it's about 15 or 16 lawns that it's too much for the main mowing crew that cuts four days a week already. So and we have to allow for a day of rain. So we go out on Mondays um, and if it rains on Mondays, we can go on Tuesdays. We have the leisure of going either way. And then we're primarily doing side work. Um, a lot of things have changed this year over the winter since we were making videos last year. Jimmy has graduated school now and has come on full time. Um, and then there's a couple other things that we'll throw in at the end of the video. So this is just gonna be an introduction video. We're gonna show you how the Monday works and kind of what we do. And uh, we'll get some clips of us cutting some grass. So you ready to go? Have a great day. All right, so the last video I think we made was back in February. It was the skid steers cold start. And the one before that was buying all the new equipment. Um, so we're in the, my 2020 F350 right now. We're towing the 7x14 SureTrack trailer. That's the new one you guys saw in the video. Um, we mixed it up a little bit. We took the new walker mower I bought, and that's going with the main mowing crew. Um, just for peace of mind during the day because it's brand new and not having to worry about things breaking down. Or, um, which kind of screws up the whole day based on where they are during the day. Um, I have my walker mower that I bought in 2017, so it's about five years old. A bunch of work done to it throughout the years. It's got about 1,500 hours, so it's good for one day a week right now. It would be all right for five days a week, but it has little odds and ends that start to go with that hours on the machine. Um, we have the Toro Multiforce in the trailer. I have been using every single week taking the mower deck off for mulch jobs if you need to sneak in a gate um because it's a 52 so we're going through four foot gates um i've literally been using the absolute crap out of it and it's probably the greatest purchase for the springtime i, I have a, a specific purchase i like for every single season of the year um, but for mulch this thing replaces multiple guys you can fit I think a, a big double wheelbarrow is about nine cubic feet. You can fit about one and a half to maybe two in the wheelbarrow of the Toro and drive it anywhere you want as long as you don't get stuck and it'll dump and it'll replace an employee because employees are hard to find this time of year. Um, at, at any, any business right now is having trouble finding employees. So um, we have those two mowers in the trailer and then we did buy the Skag Windstorm over the winter. You saw that in the video. I picked that up from Ford's Lawn Mower in Piscataway, New Jersey. Um, that's just used for the, the bigger properties where we have to blow the parking lots off or long driveways that are steep hills. <laughs> you perfectly time it so when the person's done weed whacking, the other guy's done, almost done cutting, so we jump on that and drive right up the driveway instead of walking when it's really, really hot out with the backpack blower to go blow the driveway off. So we hit that real quick. Um, and then a Red Max um, weed whacker and just a couple hedge trimmers in case there's little odds and ends to do. But the other trailer where you've seen last year in the other video, that's the main setup that has the Hurricane blower in it, the brand new Walker, the Ferris C3 mower standard. Um, and that's about it for that. But that'll, we'll go over what's going on with the business as we get going with the channel again. But we are full time with this YouTube thing now. So stay tuned for the videos. We are doing a mulch job later in the week, right? With the we yeah, we are going to get the cutting out of the way today, and the weather looks beautiful this week. I don't know where everyone lives, but in North Jersey, it was about 90 to 95 all weekend. So we woke up to a good, like, 50 degrees this morning, so it feels really good. Um, we're going to get the, the cuts out of the way today, um, and then we are going to do a patio tomorrow. It's like a slate patio that we have to rip up and re-level. We're not doing a full excavation of it the customer just wants it to be sort of level and somewhat pitched because over the past 20 years the base was never done the right way from the beginning but we are just going to repair it i posted a a um a question in lawn care mafia which everyone on there not everyone 
most people are on there are just on there to not really help anyone and just kind of mess around with people and make fun of them but that's not what the group is for it's to help new people start their company and ask questions and even veterans in the business have little questions here or there maybe they're trying to do a different field of landscaping that they need help with so we're all in this together to help everyone um, and you can't do everything say you live in a town you cannot do every single client in the whole town so when you see other companies pay respect to them don't don't be like oh there's the bad guy over there like you can't do every single property in the town so there's enough work literally for everyone you can have another couple companies come in and still there's enough work for everyone because there's so many people in every single town so um not to deviate off of that but with the lawn care mafia ask the question about the patio we're going to do tomorrow and everyone says no don't do it do it right or don't do it at all but the client specifically wants a quick repair on the patio which is it's all it's a dry laid slate patio that they did over 25 years ago and it's sunken in a couple spots they just want it to look fresh and clean this is actually my geometry teacher in high school so i've known him forever so i know for a fact that he wants it just repaired if it was a brand new client i would not do this for them like in terms of repairing existing work without redoing the entire thing the right way the right way is to rip everything out put five six inches of base material in leveling sand and do it like a regular paper patio but I know for a fact this guy just wants to quick repair. Um, so people on Long Care Mafia were saying, don't don't take it, don't take it, regardless of who it is. But money's money. I quoted him quite a bit of money to do this patio in terms of it being all labor labor of us just ripping it up and relaying it. There's, there's enough material already on site to redo it. So I'm literally driving two miles down the road to this client's house and charging them quite a bit of money, which we'll reveal later in the video tomorrow when we get done with it. Um, but that's for that's one of the bigger projects of the week, and then we're going to hit a 26 to 28 yard mulch job on Wednesday, which the tour will come in very handy for that. We'll have both F550 dump trucks on the job site for that one. Um, and we're going to do a small garden renovation with uh, ins installation of white stone. They don't want mulch because they just want to be done with it. So we already have the weeds killed on that one. We are going to just install white stone on the garden bed for uh, lower maintenance for going forward. And then we have a car wash renovation at the end of the week where the grass up by the road is dead. And they want to mix it up a little bit with some river rock, uh, new sod, and um, some vincas for some annual plants to give it nice color for people that are driving by. Um, we'll see how far that takes us in the week. And the mowing crew, like we said, is doing about four days of work so we'll be by ourselves on the side work but uh that's pretty much the scope of the week all right we gotta go get gas before we start the day or we gotta fill up a couple cans or fill up a couple cans i like to do this on friday just so it's out of the way but we had jimmy's graduation this weekend so as soon as we were done friday we just closed the trailer up and parked everything and said well it's easier to worry about it later which i wish we would have filled the gas up on friday Look at those fuel prices. today that walker filled up just on that house alone so a little bit of rain these past few days grass a little bit going to be higher today so i uh, just got to work through that 
Uh, we just got the second property done. It is 745. We got out here about 715 after we filled up with gas, so about a half hour for two houses. It's not too bad. It's a little bit farther than I'd like to drive, but I've had these clients for about seven or eight years now, and they have multiple properties. So I like to deal with one person for, say, eight properties than dealing with eight separate customers who all everyone has their own demands but that's just how the business works but it's my preference to have one customer that owns say seven or eight properties at once like they rent them out or whatever other house now we're going to go to our third property which the properties get a little bit closer together but like you said like we said that these properties are the overflow um, they're a little bit farther apart which i don't like them that way but it's hey it's still pure profit at the end of the day after you subtract out gas etc it's, we're still making money um, and I like to keep at least one day for us for the side um, like the other guys are doing full the full week they're cutting the whole route for me so I don't have to cut grass we can do side work which is what I like it's bread and butter people say that it's bread and butter to cut the grass you can only make so much money cutting grass the, the money I truly believe is in the side work such as pavers mulching sod installations the bigger hardscapes um, so we're gonna get that all on video for you coming up this summer um, and that's really it. All right, this house is a very small one, probably will take no more than five minutes. And uh, we're gonna be talking a little bit about minimum prices here. Uh, Steve usually likes to do a $50 minimum, unless it's a small house like this, which we'll see in a second, where it's on the way to the next house and you can't get them for 50, but you can put a lower bid in and kind of get them for a good price on the way to the next house. But other than that, minimum is usually 50 bucks. But uh, let's go check out how long this actually takes. All right. It's just a small front area. So the back probably took him all of a minute. Now we're back up front here. Let's go see what the stopwatch said, how long that took. I 
it took six minutes and 15 seconds to do that house. That's pretty quick. So back to talking about long hair mafia and the different face groups, uh, Facebook groups. Um, people are always asking, how much should I charge for this yard? And then they'll go on their yard book where you can outline the uh, property for the square footage or Google Maps or whatever they're using. <coughs> and they'll get the square foot. And people will say, well, I charge, say, X amount of dollars. Some people say, I try to shoot for a dollar a minute. Now, we were there, me as one person, since my brother was filming, um, six minutes and 17 seconds. Now, if we both worked at the property, it would have cut it in half, it would have taken us about three or four minutes. So you're not charging $6 to cut the house. What is your minimum to cut a property? I would like to know if you guys would chime in and throw it in the comments. Um, of course, location across the country matters. Um, properties are bigger, properties are smaller, depending where you're located. But what is your absolute uh, lowest you will take to go out and cut someone's property? Um, I'll tell you straight up, um, I cut, I charge $30 to cut that house. Um, I like to shoot for a minimum of 50, but I literally have to pass that house to get to my next $50 paying customer. So. In my eyes, if I if I charged him fifty dollars, he wouldn't go for it. And people in the comments, some people try to act all tough and everything. Like, well, that's too bad. If he doesn't want to pay for it, he's not going to get it. But in my eyes, if I'm getting thirty bucks a cut, I'm going to get one hundred twenty dollars for the month to cut that lawn. It takes me six minutes, so I'll have roughly twenty five minutes invested, and I'm already passing it to go to the next property. So I'm not sure if some people don't take that into account. That if it's on your way. Why not take the 120 bucks and you're only there for five minutes? Because um, a property like that, you tell him 50 bucks, he's gonna either do it himself or find someone else, which some people say, hey, that's fine. But little houses like that, that I don't even see the customer. He never comes out, never complains, he pays on time. So take the money and roll, that's my opinion. But what, what would you guys charge for that property? You saw it there on video and roughly how long it would have taken. Um, Throw it in the comments. We'd love to hear what you think. That's going to be the question of the day. What's your minimum on a property? So, well, yeah, what's your minimum on a property? And especially that one, how much would you guys charge if you don't have a minimum or however you guys do it? But let us know in the comments. All right, now we're on to the next one. Just an update. We did seven properties so far. <coughs> it's about 945 and there's pollen down all over the place today. Um, I guess from the rain and the weekend, the heat and everything, the pollen's starting to drop. Um, We're heading up into another town now. <coughs> We're heading up into another town now. Getting to talk. <coughs> He's dying over there. That's going in the video too. <coughs> Are you good? Like I said a couple times in this video already, the Monday route for us, <coughs> a little bit more spaced out so there's a little bit more drive time which I hate drive time because you're making less money but it is what it is all these clients I'm holding on to for a reason <clears throat> I get good money out of the spring cleanup big mulch jobs with these clients and then on the fall cleanups and they always sign up for other side work so we're gonna hang on to them for a little while now <clears throat> the other mowing crew is probably doing six or seven maybe eight properties in an hour because they're all right next to each other there's almost no drive time maybe a minute to two in between each. These properties are a little bit bigger. Uh, there's a couple small ones mixed in. Um, but we are heading up into a little bit of nicer town right now. <clears throat> Some bigger properties that strike better. These ones we did so far are sort of just kind of just cut, make the high grass short. They don't really care about the yard. So I uh, will show you the next properties when we get to them. All right, so now we're cutting this massive lawn behind us here. Steve's in the back right now with the with the Toro. Uh, there's minimal weed whacking here. It's more so cutting. But we're gonna get a little video here of him cutting the front here on camera. So stay tuned for that.
have to drive a little bit farther to they're done for the week and then everything else is close together um, my other crew should be around 25 by now give or take they usually do 31 on monday so they should be around 25 and they're done around i don't know three o'clock or 245 but those are more closer together a little bit smaller and we're doing the bigger ones as you've seen um, so we are heading to number 15 now on the way back into town and then we'll see what time it is after that we got a few more Sounds good. <laughs>